Hello everybody, welcome to the Champions Ladder Season 12 Final. Um, so it's Pupox Chaos against Christopher's Chaufs. Christopher won the kick, uh, won the toss, which is obviously what he chose to receive. Um, Pupox has two, two journeymen because I wrecked his team in the semi um, with four cars. So it actually makes it interesting, doesn't it? Because uh, Christopher's got two two reserves, but he doesn't have Claw Pom. He's only got Claw Mighty Blow and some Mighty Blow and some Piling on Mighty Blow. And he's got his two got his two bowls. Whereas Pupok has Claw Mighty, Claw Pom, Claw Pom, Claw Mighty, Claw Mighty, Claw Mighty. So, you know, Pupok's team is still absolutely devastating. But the fact that I wrecked him gives at least, uh, and the fact he won the toss gives at least Christopher a chance. He's also got the dirty players. So yeah, it could be an interesting game. Let's see what happens. It is yeah, it is Russian. It is a Russian final. I was, I was going to take off the the chat for this one. I'll take it off now. Um, for the you know for the replays, uh, it's something I normally do. Actually, uh, it didn't really help in this so much. Oh, cry Fagos. <laughs> Great name. Great journeyman name there. Cry Fagos. <laughs> See, is, 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 is running forward here has actually cost him an extra block there. So I, I don't know why he did that. He could have he still had this guy here to block if he hadn't done that. Um, now, but he, he blitzes for the follow up hit. Oh, I do need to have the white progress bar. Thank you very much. Ich bin Dorf. Ah, Bloodweiser. Bloodweiser getting straight in there. Thanks, Fan Fox. Yeah, he did the right thing, pushing him into a follow-up block. The only thing was, of course, he was. Uh, it meant that pushes were double pushes were no good. But fair enough. No, that's a foul-worthy player, isn't it? Admittedly, it's not the claw palm, but fair enough. He's going for the get the attrition ball rolling. Is absolutely fair against eleven men. Looks like Pupok's going for the ball a little bit. The absolute man. Oh, no, he's just hitting the best player. <laughs> yeah, exactly, it doesn't get it. <laughs> it's, it's much better to watch Blood Bowl than play it. Well, less stressful. If if the games don't count, if the result doesn't count in playing, Blood Bowl's very enjoyable, but you know, it, it's really only the Champs Ladder format that makes it unenjoyable, I think. Oh, Tony plays poorly. Yeah, there's a lot of skills, isn't there, on these guys? It makes it following it pretty pretty difficult, but then I don't want to take them off and not have a clue what anyone's got. Peapock loves these dodge outs, doesn't he? He did, he did them to me continuously. Um, wasn't really able to exploit or anything, but... There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's just all about who, what, what hits they can get in and everything, isn't it? It's fair enough. So again, going for the follow-up claw hit. I don't really like... Wow, he's, do he's doing his go for it one at a time. Oh, he's not even... He's stopping there. Wow, I thought he'd have got in for the extra assist. I'm shocked that he's not making a huge foul here because this guy's on the edge of the, on the, edge of the uh, cage, isn't he? I just fouled this one. Only one assist. One assist fouls him instead of like four assists fouling that guy again. I mean, it's fair enough. He is the piling on guy. And he gets he gets the removal. So, like, it wasn't bad. It's just that I think when you've, when you've got a warrior in front of your cage, you really kind of want to foul, don't you? 
Yeah, I can't believe it. Crucifer is known for imagining he has movement nine ball centaurs and going for it. Wow, first block from Malona. Obviously, he's, he's, has, he's got limited options. Um, and it was to get two dice on the ball. <laughs> so, fair enough with Claw Palm. Oh my god, huge Kaz. Insta Apple, maybe? I would. I would. Wow. Does not Apple that. I mean, I guess he's got the bulls and everything. Oh, that's not his primary ball carrier, maybe. He's got this bludge. But I don't know. I guess Apple doesn't, doesn't stop losing the ball, does it? Will he hand off now rather than making another dodge? Oh! <laughs> See now there, if that was me, I think I would have just gone for the handoff with not having the dodge for the with not having the reroll for the dodge. Might have just gone for the handoff there to try and to try and snag it, but he got lucky with a bounce, didn't he? And not getting his armor broken. Yeah, I guess he's saving his 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 apple for the bulls or the or the claws, which is well not claws, blockers, which is which is absolutely fine. I mean you can't you can't say he's wrong for that, can you? Oh, I guess this guy wouldn't have been very safe if he'd hand off to him anyway. Oh, he would have been. <laughs> brutal. <laughs> brutal double one. <laughs> brutal double one. Yeah, the dodge was a two plus, but I still just think, you know, the failure state was better doing the handoff and having a guy stood there. But then, on the other hand, the guy stood there is going to get hit with Mighty Blow, which isn't good for his survivability, is it? Tackle Mighty Blow. But I mean, as I say, when I'm saying things, I'm not saying I'm not saying people are doing things wrong, are they? It's just that there's there's more than one way to skin a cat, isn't there? I like claw bombing the uh, the bull here. Might have greeted that. I guess he's only got two. But still, I think that was that was worth one, seeing as this this guy is locked down against tackle, and then this which is just a simple break tackle out. I might have I might have been tempted to re-roll that. I think re-rolling it would have been absolutely fine there. Nice it's just a two plus to hit the ball, isn't it? More or less. I know there's the GFIs that you failed last time. But to all intents and purposes it's a two plus to hit the ball. Having skill re-rolls for the G for the GFIs. Tackle, yeah. I, I really wouldn't have hated the reroll there, especially with Armin Clawpon. Would have made the ball safe, and it was a hit with Clawpon. But I mean, it's all right. He's got another Clawpon hit on the on the ball this turn. Oh no, he doesn't. Uh, this is really scary though, isn't it, with all the claw, the claw mighty blows that Pupok has. It's really scary, it's really hard for Crucifer to end his turn in a satisfactory way, isn't it, because whatever happens, he's going to get out. Okay, so now this is a very perfect, this is a much better apple than the first one. I would have felt bad if I, if he, <laughs> if I, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess, look, he's bound to take cars that, that were on bulls or warriors, so, um, absolutely fine that he, uh, but he didn't apple the first one on the good decision to not apple the uh, ball carrier and save it for this guy. Cheeky dodge. Another one. This just gives him a break tackle in, doesn't it? The two dice the ball again with with tackle. No, no tackle from him. Looks like the only inducement was a babe for Pupok. Going two. Oh no, two babes from Pupok. I think I would have gone with an apple. I don't know, maybe. Maybe go babe. Oh yeah, he's got this guy. 
He does have tackle. It's like he's got a third bull with this with this hobgoblin. It's a pretty good hobgoblin, to be fair. Another gets a stand firm guard in. Pretty good. But all, all he's got to do is try to get two dice blocks, hasn't he? Um, which isn't so hard. That, that's a, a rough non knockdown for him. And another one. <laughs> Thanks, Hellboy, for the host. Whoa, you can be my wingman anytime. You did the old run away. Bit of a potato here, isn't it? Can the bull catch him? Surely he counted these squares, so he can't. He can only base. This guy can catch, though. Nice, already blocked. Oh, yeah, he couldn't really catch him. Oh, he did them one at a time. Good for you, Crucifer. He did them one at a time. Ah, and then the three plus to get two dice is fair enough. Got to, got to reroll this, hasn't he? Pretty good having strength four blocker there, isn't it? Potato punished. Unbelievable, Jeff. A nice random positioning from that bull as well. I'm not random, obviously he got him in the vicinity in case of a scatter, but uh, could have still gone you know, in a less relevant position. He's really thinking he's got to do something this half, hasn't he, Pupak? I mean, even just stopping him scoring gives him a good chance of the 1 0, doesn't it? So. He doesn't really have to go for the score here, but obviously he's going to try for the score. Put everything he, he can into the score, because then at 1-0 up, it's looking pretty golden. Don't like this block so much if you're going for the ball. But, I mean, he's a great player to take out for the, for the whole game, isn't he? So, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't the best play to score this drive. But in terms of winning the game, it's a, it's a block you want to make, isn't it? For sure. Like dodging him out for a recovery and stuff would have been would have been better for scoring, but yeah, absolutely, absolutely fine. Just punching, punching things. Uh, not really ridiculous. Anything has happened ridiculous yet? No. Um, three KOs is all Peapox taken, and he is Kazda, Kazda Bull. And uh, a couple of other players, and uh, Crucifer's had a guy sent off. This is the final answer. Yeah, people has had better injury dice so far, but then he's also got piling on. He's been hitting with piling on, and uh, he's got the strength advantage, hasn't he? Whereas Crucifer only has one claw mighty blow guy. Pupak's team is way, way, way killier. Another huge hit. He can, he can get the pick up, can't he? Wow, I thought he would have picked up for sure. Just because he's strength four, isn't he? He can break tackle in here. Oh, 
<laughs> he, he does he does throw it through tackle for no reason by the looks of it. It looked like he went like that way instead of that way, but maybe, maybe he didn't. Wow, lucky lucky bounce or what? Lucky bounce or what? Ridiculous. Yeah, I, I would have gone for the pick up with the warrior as well, just to stop the, the break tackle in. Would have got one dice powered anyway, <laughs> probably. Yeah, it was an unbelievable scout there because I would have been, I would have had the GFI to score as well. Just a stun. There he goes. So wow, that is huge, isn't it? It's it's Pupok's game to lose now. That's uh, that is. About as well as it could have gone. He's also taken he's taken KOs when he's got two babes as well. So like that was a dream half for Pupok. Wow, we rolled two ones! <laughs> That's crazy! KO rolled with two pluses and he failed two out of three. That is unbelievable. So not so amazing for him. Down the ball carrier and down a claw pommer. Both rolled ones on the KO rolls. That is outrageous. Uh, so you know he would have thought he would have thought he would have had the 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 man advantage, wouldn't he? You think he'll have been thinking, you know, maybe he's ten or eleven versus ten, and, and he's nine versus ten. But still, he's 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 got rid of some good players, hasn't he? And he's still got a huge advantage in terms of claw might and blow. So he should be able to even up the odds pretty quickly. could have been you if you kept playing chaos dimmy or if you could actually roll more than one roll better you can't and stay positive dimmy <laughs> thanks very much lemon is good thanks for staying fantastic oh yeah thank you very very much Marisa. <laughs> glorious um Uh -huh. Thank you for that link, Mike and Machine. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? Hey. It's good advice, that though, isn't it? Right, so he's left with a shitty, a shitty beast man instead of the pretty good ball carrier. Um, he did remove somebody there, didn't he? So it's 10 versus 10. Oh, he gets the mighty blow removal. What bald skin is that? The skull one. Random gave up a block here, didn't he? I don't know why he gave up this block for no reason. Gets away with it though, lucky dingo. And you not being able to pile on, he's giving away a hit. Oh, no, giving up this hit to uh, to get a foul. Only oh, gets the stun. Doesn't even get the push. I mean, it was a push into a claw mighty as well, wasn't it? Oh, no, yeah, it's got some fun. Only push on that guy. <laughs> Hello, Sky Blue Monty. Uh, he's strength 5, so I guess this kind of pointless contact isn't so bad. But look, he got the AV break, I think. Yeah, I think that's a, a fair blitz, isn't it? Oh, another Kaz.
Yeah, I mean, it, 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 he, he was giving up. Uh, he was giving up the mighty blow hit on this guy to get the foul in. But then, yeah, you know, he's if he if he just lets him tee off with claw palm every turn, he's going to lose, isn't he? So he probably did think. I mean, like, you know, I don't think it was bad that he went in for that foul, but uh, it was risky, wasn't it? Very risky. Not only could he got sent off, he could have also just got smashed. But it was a pretty good foul, to be fair. Three assists, with dirty player. Uphill, and that's fair. That's a fair enough uphill, wasn't it? If it had worked, he'd have got hit on the ball. Ish. The foul in. Kaz. So, the foul paying off for sure there. Apple it sent off. The apple worked, but this is probably the final drive anyway, isn't it? Yeah, the apple there, um... I don't know. You probably would instinctively, wouldn't you? I mean, it could go to overtime, and you would want him if it did. But, um. So, yeah, I guess it's guarding against worst case scenario, isn't it? it, it you know, worst case scenario it goes to overtime, and you fucking need him. So. But obviously, he's hoping. He's hoping it's a wasted apple. <laughs> But Pupak's definitely at the point where he can hedge his bet a bit now, isn't he? Whereas Crucifer is definitely balls to the wall. He's going to have to try everything he can to do anything. Pretty big KO. I mean, both sides are capable of getting the hits in, aren't they, with poor Mighty Blow and stuff? Well, oh. uses one of his rerolls here to get people guard locked a bit. Maybe it's a mistake by uh, Pupok to not get one square further forward so he could have GFI'd and killed the game this turn. Could have thought about rerolling. Ah, oh, no, he doesn't have tackle. He doesn't have dodge. He could have thought about rerolling that again with it being the bull. This is a very much a potato here, isn't it? Not loving this player. He's got he's got very few players though, hasn't he? Very few players. Oh, he's got to he's got to reroll that. Not that it even does that much. Oh. Unlucky. <laughs> so <laughs> instant, instant two dice in the ball there. Probably should have re-rolled. Should probably re -rolled. Probably should have followed up there. I think. Rather than let the ball come round, pretty easy. Pretty easy one. Gets him. Yeah, bulls are bulls are amazing. They really are amazing. And it's like, you know, how do you keep how do you keep the ball safe from them when they're when you've got no men to protect? Oh. One at a time. Unbelievable, yeah. One D into a one D. Might as well go for them. Oh no, one D into a two D because he's, he's got strength four. And claw. Gets the pow. Another removal. Wow, this is br this is turning brutal for uh, Pupog now. The good thing for him again is that there's there's a bunch of KOs and he's getting them back in a two plus. Apone KO is a lot worse when you've got two babes like Pupog does. So no. 
So yeah, saving his reroll now for overtime. I guess now Pubox kind of decided it's definitely going overtime unless Christopher fails pickups. Well, that's Crucifer out of rerolls, which is a scary place to be in, isn't it? No matter what happens. Does he just go for the three plus dodge out here? He does. Break tackle would have still failed because it was a one. <laughs> Huge scatter. That could have easily just come out this way, couldn't it? And then the chaos could have just scored. Pretty, pretty lucky scatter there from uh, Christopher. Maybe he shouldn't have gone for the dodge, but he's running out of time, isn't he? Three turns. Does he have a? He doesn't have a hog in front. Uh, Christopher was higher TV to the point where people got two babes, but that's all. So he obviously managed it so that he was uh, he couldn't get a wizard. Oh god, Rando dodge gets uh, gets cast. Typical. Both loners are cast now. And cry, poor old cry for girls. <laughs> I mean, it's really going to be tough for uh, Christopher to score here, isn't it? No rerolls and only three turns. How does he even do it? I guess he's just committed to the GFIs, isn't he? I guess he is movement nine, isn't he, kind of? That's, he's on the limit now. He's absolutely on the limit. Wow. Unbelievable. Just needs to push him here. He re-rolled it! Oh my god. Did Pupok just do a dumb? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, he didn't. No, no, push wasn't good enough. Okay, so he, he was in. He was in range of a push. <sighs> no, Peapock didn't do it, dumb. Peapock didn't do it, dumb. <laughs> yeah, I think taking the push would have been okay. But um. Rather than using one of your last two rerolls, you know. But then on the other hand, look, if you get the POW, then... If you get the POW, then he's not going to score and you win. So I think going for a 5 plus to just win the game... You know, it's not wrong, is it? If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to... I mean, there's no... Neither player is definitively right or wrong, is it? You can go... You, re, you go for a 5 plus to win the game there. So re-rolling it um, is absolutely fine. Taking the push and then hoping that he doesn't score. But because, you know, he is going to get fouled and he does get fouled. <laughs> That's a huge Kaz there from Crucifer. I mean, look, he's taking three Kaz here. He's not looking great for overtime, is he? My neither is Crucifer. Plus he's got these coming back on twos with two chances to get them back. So he has got good KO recoveries for sure. I mean, these are all going to be back for sure almost for overtime. Thanks to the overtime bug of getting two chances. <laughs> so they both turned each other over and scored on turn eight. That's crazy, isn't it? So there's a KO failure from one of his players.
who's going to win the toss. They did fix it. Unbelievable, Jeff. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Three, six, eight players on defense for Christopher. And three, six, seven players on offense for Pupa. And one reroll to none. Wow. That's crazy. This guy stayed out. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I mean, it, these two are just so hard to nail down, aren't they? Though he does have claw palm, so if he, I, what I would do is I would keep this claw palm, you know, behind the line, and just use him to hit the, uh, hit them when they come. Is I think the way I would have done it. Put, put put this guy here and this guy back and then you know just block straight forward and then don't blitz anybody well he could blitz the 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 hob and then keep this guy back to protect it has been a pretty great game yeah, to be fair way better than I thought it was going to be but then the fact that I ruined Pupok's team made it a much better game. <laughs> the fact that Pupok was only starting with 11 players. If he'd, if he'd started with like 13 or something, I think he would have had a much more likely to us. He would have been much more likely to steamroll uh, Christopher if he'd started with 13 players. But the Corpum's getting hit here, which isn't ideal, is it? <laughs> yes, but you don't know you'd have got everyone KO'd though, would you? People in chat saying that I'm wrong. But you know, just because the dice have worked out that he got loads of guys KO'd. Um, yeah, the, the KO's, he actually he only made one out of three, despite them being two pluses. So, earlier. And his claw palm has rolled a double one for KO recoveries, which is crazy. Maybe uh, Crucifer's lack of a reroll here might might be the deciding factor, eh? But it's it's hard for Pupop to get anywhere, isn't it? He's just going for the he's going for the full potato. He's never had any luck with these uh, knocking down the bulls, has he? Uh, that was the thing when he's done the potatoes, but now he hasn't even been able to hit him. This is, but he doesn't have rerolls, does he? That's the thing, Crucifer does not have rerolls. And he's making blocks. Irrelevant blocks before the crucial action. Oh no, that wasn't that wasn't irrelevant because he got him uh, got him the guy in to block him away. But then there's no reason to block him away because he's gonna have to dodge anyway. I don't really like making you know, I freeze up that guy, I guess, which playing a little bit safe still yeah. no reroll for the hit oh wolver squirrel uh, this is just the uh, a replay of the final of the champs ladder it was played yesterday and I didn't I didn't realize He is in scoring with the plus movement. Does he just go for it? Maybe he will. He's got a reroll, hasn't he? And he's likely to just get crushed by the bulls next turn. He's totally going for the score. It's the push. Oh, <laughs> classic GFI. And he makes the second one. Unbelievable. 
unbelievable good. No, I thought it was pretty good, but I thought it was a good. I thought it was a pretty great game, yeah. So congrats to Pupok there. Um, Claw was Claw was pretty good, wasn't it? Claw Pump. and <laughs> genuine cry for goals was MVP. I think actually got pretty equal AV breaks, though a lot of those was fouls from Christopher, weren't they? And uh, he did get more injuries than Christopher uh, got, but you'd expect that because he's got Claw Pump. Christopher doesn't. Um, and also, it's actually more likely to Kaz a dwarf than KO them, aren't you? So, yeah, I'm sure. A decent amount of powers, really, from uh, from Christopher. And pretty pretty average. Pretty average there as well, isn't it? Not so many skulls, but, you know, it doesn't really matter unless you roll a double one. So, yes, very interesting. Good match and uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.